Hey everyone, Laz here on the wrist today. We have the Orient Mako 2. We'll take a deep dive into this dive style watch, no pun intended. But let's see if this watch punches above his weight class. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so we'll do a quick spec rundown. We'll start off with the movement. This has the in-house caliber from Orient, the F6922. It has a power reserve of 40 hours. Uh, complications on this uh, on this movement, you have the day-date complications. Uh, as far as the crystal, it is a mineral glass. Uh, case material, it is stainless steel. For the case diameters, you have a 41.5 millimeter case diameter on this watch. Lug-to-lug uh, -lug length, it is 47 millimeters. Uh, case thickness, and we'll give you a side shot here of the case thickness. It is a 13 millimeter case thickness. Not too bad. I uh, wish it was a little bit thinner, but hey, it's not that bad. It sits nicely on the wrist, and it's not a, a cumbersome watch to really wear. So, um, yeah. Uh, as far as the water resistant, as you can see there on the bottom of the dial, it is a 200 meters water resistant, according to Orient. It is not a certified dive watch, but I'm willing to bet this bad boy can definitely uh, stand up to that, that 200 meter water resistant uh, spec. As far as the crown, it is a screw down crown and it does screw down very, very smoothly. Uh, let me see if I can pull this crown out just to kind of show you. So there you have it. Has a nice winding uh, feel to it. It's a little crunchy, um, may, maybe a little gritty on the winding, but again, this is a, this is a hundred and what, about a hundred and forty dollar watch. So no, I, I'm not going to complain about that. Now, as far as the screwing down of this this uh, crown it is very very smooth um, it's not that bad like it doesn't really hang up on you um, and again maybe you can put just a little bit of grease on that and and, and it should screw down even smoother uh, but yeah uh, and you can see the uh, the laser etch logo uh, orient logo on that crown as well got some very nice crown guards uh, they're very uh, very subtle they're not too too out there there so it, it doesn't really dig into the wrist that bad as far as the bezel is 120 click unidirectional bezel um has a little bit of misalignment with the chapter ring but overall it is a very very nice bezel and for the price i gotta say it's probably one of the better bezels i've seen um and you can see that slight misalignment there with the chapter ring um but it has very very nice tacked out clicks and then there's no play on this bezel you know once it's locked into place it's locked into place um very nice finish on the brush on top of the the case with a very high polish uh finish on the side of the case quality control again at 140 dollars you can't really expect much but the quality control kind of takes a little bit of a dip in terms of the the uh the, the dial itself, I found a couple of particles under the dial, which I was able to take apart and or open up the watch and, and uh, use some Rodico to get that those uh, little dust particles out of there. Uh, the loom on this watch, I'll give you a loom shot here in just a bit, but it's actually not that bad. Um, I got to say that for the price, it is a pretty good loom. It's actually better than my Hamilton khaki, and that was a $600 watch or I paid $500. But this particular watch is only $140, and it's got better loom. Uh, keeps just as good as time as my Hamilton. Uh, the only thing is, of course, is only has a 40-hour power reserve versus that 80-hour power reserve you get with the Hamilton. All right, so here you have the bracelet that this comes on. So you'll see here on the end links, this is one of my gripes with this bracelet. Um, and it's the reason why I'd rather uh, swap it out for a rubber band or even a leather one. There's a little bit of play. Um, and, and that could probably be remedy with switching out the spring bars on this but it is something that bothered me from day one. Now, what I do like over this bracelet than the one that came on my Hamilton Khaki King 2 is, is that the brush on this bracelet is an exact match to the brush on the case. Now, that's a big deal for me. Like, I feel like, you know, if, if you're pairing this with the bracelet from, a, from a, a, a reputable brand like Hamilton or even 
uh, orient in this case, the least you could do is make sure that, that the brushing um, or even the polish matches the, the case that it's married to. Guys, I just want to uh, interrupt you briefly. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, uh, please do so. Go ahead and hit that bell icon. Um, smash that like button and drop a comment below on this video. If you own an Orient and uh, your conclusion is the same as mine, that this is a, a really good proposition from Orient's behalf, then go ahead and drop that in the comments below. All right, guys, so there you have it. Uh, that's the hands-on review um, of the Orient Mako 2. Um, I got to say, you know, if you have an active lifestyle, this is probably one of the best entry-level automatic uh, dive-style watches that you can purchase. A lot, a lot of value is coming from Orient. Not only are you getting that in-house made or that in-house movement, um, the, the fit and finish of this watch for the most part is excellent. The bezel, the screw-down crown, the finish of the dial, the loom. Um, the applied indices, the logo is applied on the dial and it's not painted on there. It's not printed. It's applied. Um, and it looks amazing. I really have to say, um, a lot of values coming from Orient. Um, and if, if you're not familiar with the brand or if you are, but haven't yet purchased one, I highly recommend you start looking into Orient. Um, again, Orient has a lot of value to offer. Uh, their prices are very, very reasonable. In fact, this particular watch at 140, um, I would almost put it up against my uh, Seiko Sarb 773. Um, now, that is a watch that's in that 300 category, but yet, for the most part, it's you know, it's a it, it really this this really punches above his weight class. Um, the Orient Mako 2 really punches above his weight class. And now the one thing I will say that I would have loved to have seen on the Orient Mako 2 is some solid end leaks. But again, at $140, what more can you ask for? And if you really want to put a bracelet on there, it's going to match this watch nicely. It's going to have the solid end leaks and it's a very high end um, or high quality bracelet. Then you can check out, uh, I think, Long Island watches. I believe they offer a bracelet for the Mako 2 that has solid end leaks and a really uh, a really good clasp. So, um, yeah, if you definitely wanted to put a better, um, bracelet on this, you can, they're out there. Um, me personally, because of the lifestyle that I, that I, that I have, I, I'd rather use more like, um, uh, the rubber, uh, rubber bands. I like to use leather when I'm at work, NATO sometimes. So there you have it. Tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way I guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at it